Hello. Hello. This is John, and this is me. Um, and today we are doing spooky jo- uh, stories that for John and George. The stuff. I know it's Christmas, but like. Yeah, it it was. We were meant to do this video at Halloween. Haha, <laughs> yes. How. Yes, we we wanted to do this kind of video on Halloween, totally, didn't we? We just yeah, ha- we did totally had that idea ages ago. Yeah, yes, yeah. totally had it ages yeah. ago. But anyway, we're gonna listen. To, I'm gonna be like a scary child. Like, oh my god, this is so scary. And I'm gonna be like, <laughs> scary. <laughs> so like my face. So yeah, um, scary stuff like my face. Yeah, John, I don't care. So, anyway, let's get da, to da, it. Da, 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 da. This is better, because now it's dark. It is very dark. Yes, that's why we have dodges. Yes. Okay, so what we are going to do, we're going to tell some spooky stories oh. to you. <laughs> Oh, John, wow. stop, stop Stop trying to laugh into the camera like okay. you're, like, some spooky guy. Hey. You're not... Okay, John, get on with it. You got some story. Okay. Once, there was a traveller. Name... Wait, what was, shh, what's the, what was the traveller's name? Well, I don't know. It doesn't matter, does it? No, it does. And what was the gender? All right, Greg, was... and he was male. Okay, okay. And what was his sexuality and... He was gay. I don't know. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, carry on. The Traveller. Many moons ago. So Wait, it's... what does many moons mean? Just like a long time ago, okay? Say many years. Be precise. Are you a scientist? All right, all right, fine. Many years ago, he wandered the valleys looking for a place to stay for the night. That must have took him a long time. It did. Um, must have took him quite a few nights. Wait, did he live in a nightland where it was always night? Or, like, they had really long lives. All like... right, shut up. <laughs> All right, shut up now. Okay. Right. He searched all the valleys and all the land until he stumbles across a castle. He knocked on the door of the castle and an owner came out. He asked, Any words? Can I stay for the night? Yes, yes, lad, we got okay, um, uh, Fortnite, okay, 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 Fortnite okay. and Doritos. Okay, okay, this was like, what? This was many a moons ago, remember? How many did he travel? Moons how ago. did he travel? Shut up. John, how did he, he travel? It doesn't matter. He walked. Okay, then he must be very thin. I hope. Yes, he needs di- to eat. That's why he's looking for a place. Wait, does the tra- what, Does the place, like, is it a motel, like, gives him food? No. Right, just okay, okay. shut up. Anyway, the owner of the castle said, "All right, but you must not answer the doorbell at midnight." Also, Traveller said, "Gotcha." You know the owner of the hotel. Like this, I'm sorry. It's not a hotel. It's a castle. Castle. Sorry. You know the owner of the castle, right? Did he, what? What gender was him? Uh, him. <laughs> male. Male. It was male. Um, and was he, um, gay or... He was straight. Straight, okay, thanks. Okay. I, I need to keep the story straight. Uh, okay. So, the traveller went to bed that night, and at midnight he heard the doorbell ring. He went downstairs, and he heard someone say through the door, Oh, please let me in. I really want to, um... I can be your uh, best all friend. All right, all right, all right. I'll show you what I can do with my long spindly fingers. Traveller said, no, you can go off. Die in a hole or something, said the Traveller. Well, the Traveller should die in a hole. He's a bit rude. All right, yeah. You should the Traveller was rude, but that was like how the Traveller was. You should bully. Yes, but he was asked not to answer the doorbell, so... 
Well, that's still rude. Yes, I know, I know. Okay, but it's not necessary to the story. Yes, it does. Okay. Continue. So the tra- so the traveller went up t- back up to bed, feeling happy with himself, proud of himself. Next morning... He hasn't he achieved are... anything. He's a Shut sub- up. Sub- Shut up, okay? okay? Next morning, he went... He went, uh, he went, he went to the owner of the castle and he asked if he could stay another night. Traveller said, sure. Uh, the owner said, sure. You can stay another night. Uh, but not to answer, but you're still not to answer the doorbell at midnight. That night, the traveller went to bed again. <laughs> Questions! Okay, what? Oh, sorry. What did they have for breakfast? They have Rice Krispies. No! They had golden nuggets, obviously. Jeez. I'm sorry. So stupid. Huh. So that night, the traveller went to bed again. And again, at midnight, the doorbell rang. He did, what again, what he had done last night. And asked, and asked the person on the other side of the door, who... Again, said, I can show you what I can do with my long spindly fingers. Uh, He told him to die in a hole again. Right, that's bully. I'm going to report him to Childline because we don't know what... Right, he's dead now. He's dead now. The traveller's dead by now, okay? Yeah, I'm still going to report him. It was a long time. It was many a moons ago. Right, I'm going to go to his house and, like, no, go to his grave and poo on it. Guys, we're going to well, sign rude. a petition. Well, sign a petition with me to poo on his grave. That's just rude. That's more rude. Let's poo on Greg's grave. Okay. Um, so, the ne- so the next morning, he asked the owner if he could stay another night. The owner said yes and then said the same thing. Don't answer the doorbell at midnight. That night the traveller went to bed. He woke up at midnight. The other per- the person on the other side of the door said, Please let me in. I can show you what I can do with my long spindly fingers. This time the traveller said, Alright, but not because I like you. Because you're, you keep pestering me too and it's annoying. He opened the door. What's up? Can we, like... No! Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! What gender was the other dude as well? We don't know yet. We do not know yet. We don't know yet. Okay? Okay. He saw... a cloaked figure dressed in dark. It turned, and the figure was a skeleton. It got out its long, spindly fingers. I'm, I'm said, adding dramaticness. All right, all right. And yeah. <laughs> okay. that he had claimed. <laughs> the story is going to add dramaticness <laughs> when we edit. <laughs> that claimed so much high hopes <laughs> from his long spindly fingers. And he said, I'll show you what <laughs> I'll show you what I can do with my long spindly fingers. <laughs> Yeah, that was... You thought that was a good story? Right. Right. Okay. So, guys, we know no one watches this video because it seems like two kids messing around. If you're still watching this, I do not know how dumb you are. Um, uh, leave a like, hit the subscribe button to Geeks and Geeses. I know really you won't, but shut up, John. I've got actually one subscriber, so shut no. up, Dino. I thought you had seven. Ten, okay, but shut up. 
Sure. So, yeah, leave a like, hit the subscribe button, be part of the no vocation squad, squad, which is nobody. <laughs> uh, Gucci guy. Yeah. Um. Bye.